Chad. Uh, you appeared in a production of this play in the New Federal Theater, but you yeah, not in the part. No, yes, yeah, Jeremy, the, the young guy. Boy. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you grew up and you got the older part. I did. I did. Yeah, that's you know, it's been quite a journey. So, and and that's the thing that August really offers you the opportunity to, as you grow as an actor and age and experience, you get an opportunity to take on um, some of the more challenging roles. Do you, and do they give you new insights each time you do a, another work? Yes, because uh, because as Roger said, you you learn how to deal with the rhythms. Absolutely, I mean you you certainly have to surrender <laughs> to his rhythm, you know, because uh, that's how you elevate the play. You know, if you don't, you get this real herky jerky kind of deal that doesn't honor the poetry and kind of lift it into an other world kind of kind of place. Uh, but also, I me mean, August always teaches me about myself. You know, he's um, so spot on with with what's going on in the human experience that I always learn something. Roger, you play Bynum Walker, who's identified as a root worker. What does that mean? A uh, really a shaman mm -hmm. would be the um, the same thing in, that we would come close to in this culture. The Indian shamans are. Um, African shaman. I think that that's also, though, be, that he also incorporates Ameri the Native American also. And I think that's, uh, and I, I've discovered that in my research because he would naturally. They, uh, people don't understand this, but about 65% of African Americans have Indian blood in them. Mm -hmm. There's a book called Black Indians that was published in the early, which did a lot of research in this. And because African Americans uh, were so uh, closely aligned with the Indians in terms of treatment, there was a, a lot of intermarrying. Even some, uh, some of the uh, uh, tribes owned slaves, right. and especially in the Southwest. This is also a matter of self-identification, because I, I remember going to a powwow yeah. once and seeing a fair number of people who probably would have been called African-American, but they saw themselves as Native American. That was the identification that they made for themselves. Yeah. Well, my family certainly was on, they went on that trail of tears, the Cherokees. We were registered Cherokees. And uh, my great uncle left the Cherokee Nation, became chief of the Yakimas. He was Cayudas Tecumseh of the Yakima Indians. He's the chief, he was the chief of my great uncle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My mother was born on the Yakima Indian Reservation. This play takes place at a time of uh, transition because right. uh, some of the people actually can remember slavery or might have even been born oh, yeah. as slaves. Yes. And this is after Reconstruction has, has kind of been abandoned and, and now uh, uh, the, the kind of racial situation that was to be the basic part of, uh, of the way America was for until the 60s or yes. 70s really was becoming solidified. But we see a full range of the African-American experience even then within this boarding house that this play takes place in. Certainly, but I just find it, it was a very interesting time after Reconstruction, you know, um, the antebellum South, uh, just being hell-bent on, on continuing that free labor at, at any cost. And so um, the system that they put in place, the corrupt system, uh, the, the court system, the the, the, uh, as far as uh, the police, as far as you had everybody involved in this corrupt system to capture black males to get that free labor and peonage and, you know, um, just also forced labor. Yeah. The, but, the rise of the terrorist groups. The Ku Klux Klan was a terrorist group. It was bent on terror. And uh, people are now identifying it as such. It was a terrorist group, an American terrorist group. And this is where Joe Turner comes in. Joe Turner correct. is not the great blues singer and not the great boogie-woogie piano yeah, That's player. correct. You got that <laughs> This right. is a different Joe Turner. Absolutely. And he was uh, somebody who who captured black people Absolutely. and forced them to work for him? That's correct. Um, His name was not Joe Turner, though. That is that is a, has become like the popular name for him. It was like Turniff mm -hmm. or something, and then it got it became Joe Turner. Mm. Uh, and through but there was a real man. That was yes, good. the gov who, yeah, who yes. was the the actual related Brother. to the governor of of Tennessee. Yes.